everybody, John Stamper here with Dental Cast Productions. Very excited to be coming to you live on this Thursday. And uh, I know, Gary, we tried this about an hour ago. And every once in a while, you know, technology is, I don't want to say it's not your friend. It just, it is what it is. So we obviously thought we would go ahead and reschedule this. But the reason why we're here, everybody, for all of you that are watching, uh, you know, in Connecticut, surrounding states that are members of the CSDA, the CSDA has put together this really, really cool a nine month CE package series where they've got a speaker a month coming in to spend the day with all of you. And in the, in the case of Gary, it's October 2nd from nine to three 30 at the AquaTurf club. And a lot of the courses that are a part of this CE package series uh, focus on clinical and things like that. Super relative um, to what you do relevant, I should say. And then we got this Gary guy, right? Who <laughs> is, is like, is go, I'm telling you right now, we're so excited to bring him on today because he's going to share with you some insight on what I would call things that matter, things that matter in your practice. He's been doing this for a long time, an amazing person. So Gary, welcome. Well, I, I let me just say this, John, right off. You are Mr. Relentless, okay? You, I've never seen a guy go after technology like you do because we did, I don't know how many takes we did, yes. but kept, we kept going, ah, oh, Gary, it didn't work. Okay. Let's try it one more time. You are relentless, my friend. And yeah. uh, thank you. I mean, you showed me what that really, really means. Just keep doing it. So, well, I, mean, yeah, you I mean, you know how it works, right? I mean, you've performed in front of live audiences for years. That's one of these things that once you actually schedule a live and people know that, like, you have to find a way, right? The show, show must go on. Well, you know, I think so much of our lives is not just the way we perform on stage, but it's all the stuff that we're doing off stage. That makes so much difference. Most speakers, I do some coaching for upcoming speakers, and they said, Gary, what's the most important part of speaking? And I said, make sure you treat the IT people with incredible dignity <laughs> because they could make or break your presentation. Right. So there's so much about that and how we treat people around us. We have no idea sometimes how it affects them. Absolutely. All right. So we want to talk about your exciting day in Connecticut. I'm going to go ahead and put up on the screen. I'm going to go away. We're going to have everything up there and just talk about from, from, from your perspective, what it was like to be invited by the CSDA to come, you know, to the East coast. You're obviously all the way out in, in beautiful Mora Bay, California. I've uh, been there for like seven days, you said. Uh, but uh, yeah, talk about this, this course. I'll put all the stuff up on the screen for everybody can see it. You've got an AM session and a PM session and, and what you're excited about for that. Well, I just think it's so incredible because obviously I'm a non-clinician. In fact, I tell people I'm probably the last person on earth you'd want me to be your dentist. Okay. I don't think it would probably work out real well, but the course itself is really about what happens within the dynamics of the dental team and the dentist. And uh, we've got two parts. The first part is passion. Of course, I'm a passion freak. I'm a, I'm a, I call myself a passionate, you know, I'm, I believe when you really understand what true passion is, and believe it or not, I believe it's probably one of the most misunderstood words out there right now. But when you redefine it, you really begin to understand the power of that in the practice and how it begins to change everything in the dynamics, especially in the area of productivity, profit, and, and becoming a pleasurable working environment. So we're gonna hit passion right at that front end a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of excitement, uh, great content. But then we're going to come back and in the afternoon, we're going to be talking about uh, this whole idea of referral dentistry and how to take and create greater quality referrals. And so it's going to be it's going to be really amazing. I think it's going to be the kind of things that people will really be able to take home and use immediately. Yeah. And I think as you're learning, Gary, you speak to a lot of people there are as dental practices continue to grow and serve their patients, there is so much of this type of content, educational content, you know, around passion, energy, them taking care of themselves, finding ways to, you know, to uh, get referrals and things like that. And I think that that was so interesting. I was really excited when I went through this lineup of all these speakers uh, for this uh, CSDA program to have somebody like yourself that's going to be able to come in and, uh, and provide that energy. Pretty exciting. Well, these are rock stars. I mean, one of the ways I, I used the whole rock star idea that what do what does dentistry or a dental team have to do with rock stars? And here's what it is. It's all about the encore. I mean, John, have you ever met somebody and you know after maybe two or three seconds if you really want to spend any more time? 
Absolutely. Right? Yes. I mean, you know, you, you go, yes. okay, that was enough. I've had enough now, right? I mean, you know, and you like this because there's some people that attract and some people that repel. Right. And so rock stars are all about one thing, the encore. They, they, they want that at the end of the night that people are up going, yeah, we want more. And they even walk off stage knowing that they have an encore. That's the kind of thing that we in the dental profession, especially in the dental team, we need to begin to have an encore mentality right. where people, ready, they want more of what we have yes. rather than less of what we have. What And, and my, my whole life has lived that way because I 90% of all my presentations is because somebody heard me and they recommended me to somebody else and right. they said, hey, Gary, we'd like you to come in. That's the encore presentation. So when I come, I'm not going to tell you, here's all the things you need to change. Here's all the things you're doing wrong. You need to do better. What I'm going to do is find the greatness within the dental person, that team member, and say, how do we take what's great about you and make it even better. And so it's it's not so much more rules and regulations. It's more about finding the energy and enthusiasm that's already resided within that person and discovering it and then let it explode inside the office. It's a, it's it's really fun. So uh, as we were prepping for this, uh, I had asked you to put together a couple of topics that you could talk about. And um, uh, it was really exciting to me because I got like 12 and uh, <laughs> kind of going through there. And uh, there was one that I picked that just seemed fit uh, to ask you. And that would be the question of, Gary, could you please, in your own words, define passion? I, I love this. I've been speaking about passion probably for 20 years. In fact, I tell people, I consider myself a passion expert. I know that sounds a bit egotistic, but the whole idea of finding passion and, and speaking on passion came from my wife. Years ago, she was like, we got to find your brand. What's your brand, Gary? What sets you aside? You're a little short little white guy. What sets you aside in the speaking world? What? And then one night she woke up in the middle of the night. She goes, I know what it is. I go, what? She goes, you're the most passionate man I've ever met in my life. You're passionate about passion. I begin to discover most people don't even know what passion is. They think that passion is, yay, yippee, whoopee. That is not passion. Right. John, are you ready? Yep. The archaic definition of real passion means pain. Right. It actually means pain. And so people have to understand that find your passion many times means you have to go and find those places of pain right. where you've actually been through some things that really tested your life. The most significant people I've ever met all have one thing in common. They have walked through some very difficult things in their life. But they kept walking. Yep. And somewhere along, they discovered this thing about them that they never knew. That's the passion. And so passion is that one thing that you would do every single day of your life if you never got paid a dime. Mm -hmm. Passion is that thing that, that energizes you where you'll be doing it, and all of a sudden you don't even know what time it is anymore. Right. Passion is even in great times of difficulty, you keep going forward. Mm -hmm. And so passion is as unique as the person it resides in. And so my, my whole thing is, what is it? What is that one thing that energizes you? And many times in dentistry, we say, you need to become more passionate about dentistry. You need to, if you're a hygienist, you need to be more passionate about hygiene, hygiene, or if you're a dental, we try to get people excited about their position. Right. That's what I'm talking about. You need to get excited about who you are and then take that enthusiasm to your position. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's fun. And it works. It really works. Yeah. I love that. And interestingly enough, we're talking rock store, rock stars, encore passion and all of these things. And, and how are you, or how do you in, in a room full of dentists and their teams and things like that, then make that connection between passion, the encore, and here we go the bottom line, right? Where I, I mean, you know, right at the end of the day, you said it, it's a business. How do you put those two together? So that's the final thing we want to talk to you about today is really connecting those two between how do you make passion connect to the bottom line so that there's a business piece of this as well. Absolutely. Because it's not, um, we're going to a place called 
work. <laughs> okay, we're not seeking kumbaya, right? right? It's not a therapy office, it's a dental practice. And so the way I connect the dots, and I want the doctors who are listening to really listen to me now, because they, they're they very left brain, okay? And that linear side says, what's passion got to do with anything? I connect the dots. It's called the passion cycle for dentistry, where I actually show you how passion will, through steps and methodology, create higher productivity, mm -hmm. right? There's people that are busy, but not productive, right? And if you're productive, it creates higher profit, not just financial, but relational profit. Right. People that are productive create profit. Dentistry has one of the highest overheads of any profession, man. There's money falling off the table. Why? Because the dentist doesn't know what he's doing. I have no idea. She doesn't know what she's doing. No, 90% it's the team. Okay. Higher productivity, higher profit. If you're passionate, productive, and you have profit, it creates a pleasurable individual, individual to work with. Right. And so it's passion, productivity, profit, and pleasure. If you're pleasurable, it increases your desire to be more passionate. It's a cycle, baby. And it just keeps going and going and going. So it's, John, it connects. That's all I want to say to the doctors. It's not just this ethereal, motivational guy going, hey, here's some fast food. It's really content yeah. that will make a difference in the office. Absolutely. Well, I mean, if you're going to be there from 9 until 3.30 or what have you, you better have How something that will last the whole day. How long? How long? Are you? Nope. No. I'm, and it will go that fast. Trust yeah. Me. So anybody that's watching, certainly, uh, you know, members of the CSDA that want to, you know, come to this course right here in, in the post. We've got the link there. You can click. It'll take you right to the page. You can go ahead and register. Aquaturf Club, a great venue to do this. Uh, and, and man, I mean, Gary Zaleski's energy is coming to Connecticut uh, in October connecting all those dots and, 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 and thanks so much, Gary. I mean, again, I think that this is what's exciting about dentistry. I get this opportunity to do this all the time to talk to all these people in dentistry. What's exciting is, is that we're getting to this point where we really are finding ways, tangible ways to combine, I guess what you would call some of these non-business topics that are getting people excited and that are making a real difference. So you're certainly going to be a breath of fresh air on that day. And yes, you have to speak for the whole day. So if you're <laughs> 20 minutes, I'm sorry. This um, is my exit. And this is for the, this is my exit. Ready? Dentists and Gary Celeste have one thing in common. Ready? Dentists change people's lives from the outside in. I change people's lives from the inside out. We are the perfect couple. I love that. We Gary, love that. thank you so much. Uh, for everybody watching, be sure to check it out. Go register for the event. Uh, and we are going to continue to come to all of you again about six weeks before each one of these courses for the rest of the year and into 2020 to highlight all the great speakers that CSD has put together. So, Gary, have a wonderful day. Thank you, John. You too, buddy. Thanks all for right. having me. Take care.